Next, we are proud to introduce the Rapi Carousel, the automatic coating machine that coats 12 drums or rollers at once. This thing to you today or in the future. The computer programmer is state-of-the-art design. It has an EPRON called the Rapi's Dime. With this dime, you can program or store any specification required for each drum, such as the number of scans needed, speed, length, or application, and more. Once you make connection with this dime here, the information in the dime fed the computer, which then operate the carousel accordingly. To program the specification, you enter setup mode, Rapi Dime Reader, then you punch laser SX drum, The program begins with serials 1, 2, 3, or down to 1. Now we can go to the drum length desired, 11 inches, 11 and a quarter inches. Each push key increases or reduces within one quarter of an inch. Let's say this will be 10 and a half inches. No, we can go to 10 and three quarter inches. The arm speed is on 280. We can raise by the tenth with each push button. 340, 400, 440, 480, or lowering it down to 400, 380, 340. Let's adjust down to 280. Fog remover, same thing. We can raise or lower any number desired. Let's make this scan to one. PC finish scans the same way. We can go up or down to change the number of scans. Let's say we go for six scans. Now the computer says dime reader, read or save. We go for save and we prepare the dime card. But before saving this information, let's check again to be sure the serial number, speed, defogger and PC finish. The computer will stop it waiting for dime memory. We take the Rapi dime card and touch the terminal socket. It is done. This dime card is programmed to SX drum until you decide to change it. Before beginning the automatic operation, enter manual mode, arm stop, and push, automatic switch bottom. Now the carousel is on its own, programmed fully automatic. Carousel begins setup, roller stage rotate. At home position means that the arm spray is down beginning brush operation. First goes the four pulses to release any residue clogged from the fog remover airbrushes. The carousel begins with a zigzag coating with the defogger. This is replacing the missing transport layer from the used drums that are being coated. Zigzag on the bottom, zigzag on the top will conclude one scan of defogger as programmed. In this case, going down in neutral, the airbrushes are not spraying. Now the PC finish scan begins. Again, four pulses to release clogged material, and the flow spraying begins. No zigzag is needed for the PC finish process. In the center of the drum assembly, there is a fan exhaust that sucks out the overspray material through the 4-inch aluminum hose. A filter is installed to reduce built-up residue, reaching the fan exhaust. The filter is easily removed for quick replacement. After six scans of PC finish are programmed, the arm brush goes down at home position and the loop operation begins again. The four drums begin to spin and then the defogging process in a zigzag top and bottom, followed by the six scans of PC finish. Airbrush arm goes to home position. Stage rotate to bring next four drums. The four drums facing the airbrush begin to spin and again four pulses to release residue. And the process continues over and over until it is stopped manually. Once it is programmed, the carousel operates and coats an average of 70 drums per hour. The carousel utilizes a stepping motor for an accurate movement that is controlled by a computer. The eight airbrush sets are installed on a platform connected to a vertical shaft. Before purchasing any system, 
Ask yourself, what should you expect from a coding system? That the process will be low cost, easy, fast application, and will repair scratch drums, foggy spots, black edge, and chip drums. Also that the drum will not fail during the cycle, and printing should be the same quality as the original drum or darker. Rocky System got it all, and it is all under one roof. You pay for the package kit, and each application costs about 75 cents. Once you become a Rocky licensee, you will be entitled to use any formula enhancements as developed by Rocky. As you can see, if any problem occurs during the spraying process, the airbrush set can be regulated without stopping the operation. Same as for loading and unloading the drums. The carousel functions with a 110 volt, one phase, fits on a desktop with a minimum room size of 5 by 7 feet, and weight about 100 pounds. The computer software is supplied by a reputable electronics firm that will allow easy customer support. The carousel is compatible, portable, and is shipped in three components for easy maintenance. The drum assembly, the spray section, and the computer. Rockby will refer your name to other companies that are not able, for any reason, to purchase the Rockby system. So you can coat their drums for a service fee, or you can buy their drums for a good bargain. Rockby will supply all your needs chemicals, instructions, and even training sessions if needed. Rockby's goal is to be able to strip the drum to its base and create a system that every licensee can afford to produce a new drum from an aluminum rod. Use this chance to become a Rockby licensee now. I can assure you that the license fee will rise drastically when Rockby releases the fluorescent formula. Therefore, hurry and purchase the system while the fee is still low. And this is not all. Wait to see how the carousel converts to hold a longer drum. To do this, all you have to do is remove the previous drums, release the tripod, prepare your next drums to be installed, Lift the top platform. Also, you can load the charge and magnet rollers the same way. As for maintenance, there is a warranty plan for 90 days for all parts. After that, any malfunction component will be replaced with new ones. You pay only $40 per hour labor charge for repairing and for the shipping cost. When you use the Rocky Carousel, your savings are enormous. Do not be surprised that such a green things will fall on you. To know more about the carousel or the Rocky system, write to Rocky Laser Images Incorporated, 270 Center Street, Holbrook, Massachusetts, USA.